rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Little Sally wants to play or something like that. I can't remember how that rhyme goes, but I do want the rain to go away. I'm a little tired of it, but um, you know, it's bad when the weatherman doesn't want to tell the weather. One of my favorite weathermen, he's from the Herndon area. He grew up in there. He doesn't live there now, but he does the weather from home now because of everything that's going on. And he, um, was giving an update on the weather and he had one of those virtual backgrounds where he was staring at the beach and he refused to turn around. He says, I'm tired of the cold, I'm tired of the rain and I just want good weather. So I'm just gonna stare at the beach and I'm not gonna tell you what the weather's gonna be like tomorrow because it's gonna be that same stuff we've been getting and it's still gonna be cold. So I thought that was kind of funny. Um, this week, um, May 7th is actually, was actually um, National Prayer Day. And I hope you had a chance to look into what was your favorite prayer in the Bible or just pick a passage to pray over and pray the word of God. Um, we've been looking at, or I've been looking at the Lord's Prayer, which is commonly called that when Jesus is teaching the disciples to pray. And I've been paying attention to that second line where after he says, our father who art in heaven, how do it be thy name? Your kingdom come, your will be done. And it's, just a thought stirring provoking line to say your kingdom comes some people even think it's an expression to say like oh things are going to get really bad up in here i don't really know um what that brings to mind for you but it brings to mind to me that it's the truth that jesus is king of kings and lord of lords and no matter how we try to um put another spin on what's going on, whether we put our faith in science or numbers or doctors or um, the CDC or whatever, um, it still doesn't take away the reality that Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So um, I can't really think of an analogy that's really good to explain what I'm trying to say, but I thought about this one time when I'm we had this car, it was called a Celebrity, and then some of you may remember that model. It was a good little car, Chevy, and um, it, it was really good in the snow. And one day, I was leaving for work, and Daryl told me, he said, hey, come look at this. And apparently, um, some kids in our neighborhood were going around and releasing the emergency brakes on cars and letting them just roll and see what happened. So our next door neighbor's car ran into our side door. Now, over the years, Daryl and I had this point of contention about this car because I said the car was gray, he said it was green. So the car, my next door neighbor's car, when it went to the side, we had to have it fixed. And when we ordered the paint to have the car fixed, it was called metallic sage. So Daryl was right, I was wrong. I could have ordered gray or silver or whatever I thought was the color of that car and it would not have matched to fix the dent in the side of the door. The difference is, is that sometimes people see things or have perceptions or wrong perceptions of what really is real. And there are a lot of perceptions of who Jesus really is. And the truth of the matter is when he says your kingdom come, he's talking about his father's kingdom his kingdom, the kingdom that will never end, his eternal kingdom, his reign, his rule, his providence, his judgment, his peace, his love, all encompassed in Jesus Christ. The kingdom of God is an eternal kingdom that speaks life, not death, speaks forgiveness, not condemnation, speaks freedom, not bondage, speaks joy, not despair. So in this time, when we could think of a lot of things to come, we need our groceries to come. We need our medications to come. We need a vaccine to come. Pray for God's will to come and his kingdom to come. Because the truth of the matter is, is that no matter how we pray, praying is a privilege. Um, it moves things in us not in God, because God's plans are never thwarted. We have the privilege of being able to be part of God's plan when we pray. We have the privilege of being in communion with God when we pray. That's what Jesus was doing when he was praying. He was constantly staying in communion with his Father, constantly calling for the kingdom of his Father to be established. I pray for you this week 
that God's kingdom would show up in a way that you would see that this is Jesus. He is King of Kings and that he will rule in your life no matter what is going on in the chaos, in the fear, in the anxiety, the frustration. Let Jesus' kingdom, the kingdom of God that has no end, the kingdom of peace, the kingdom of love, the kingdom of glory, come and rule in your hearts and your minds and God's will will be done no matter what. I pray for you this week. If you need assistance in anything, please remember, call us 703-729-3900. We're not joking when we say that. Also, you can email us at assistance at cfcwire.org. I am praying for you that the kingdom of God that has no end, that is ruled completely by Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, which is permeate your being in your mind and your soul this week. God bless.